I know it's hard to have an attention span more than like a fly. I get it. I've been there too. In fact, I am that person. I'll make this video about giving back to the earth and completing that electric circuit that's within us. We can release anything negative in us into the earth and the earth will always receive it and turn it into something good. The earth provides us, Gaia provides us with so much abundance. The universe always provides and it's actually amazing when you learn to trust trust life trust that things will work out and they do but the reason i'm saying this is because we can't always take 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 mine 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 and not give back there has to be a give and take the earth provides us so much but we also have to give back to the earth we have to take care of the earth we can't just be taking the earth gifts all the time without paying respect without expressing gratitude and without giving back a few great ways to give back to the earth very simple any one of you can do it it's free because by the way the earth doesn't care about how much money you have and doesn't want your money because it goes beyond that it's more important than that number one thing to do i like to do it at least once a day or i feel like a dork is go pee on the earth go pee on the earth and get and intentionally give back to the earth the earth will receive it and turn it to, turn it into something great and be grateful for what you've given to the earth so try and do that at least once a day if you can it just feels good number two thing is go barefoot outside for at least i'd say minimum five minutes per day once you start getting into it you'll notice the difference when you are not barefoot in fact i'm barefoot right now I like to come out here barefoot without any shoes. We have this connection with the earth that ever since shoes were invented, we've lost that connection. We need that skin to skin contact. Very much like when a baby is born, they need that skin to skin contact with the mother to bond. We need to spend time each day reconnecting with the earth. And when we do have our skin on the earth, whether it be your hands or your feet, the feet is really solid though because that has the roots ground your roots into the earth. And when you visualize that, it makes it more powerful because as a reminder, our reality is a construct of our minds and we all do this together. We all have a universal consciousness. Every once in a while, we can tap into that with psychedelics or deep meditation. Just a reminder. So visualize what's going on visualize your roots into the earth because we do have a deep connection with the earth we come we come from the earth there's no there's no denying it we come from the earth guys we are a nature too we are a living thing we are a miracle existence is a miracle we spend our whole lives trying to um, trying to figure out what the fuck's going on we'll never understand it all at all we still don't have any clue why we're here and that is mysterious and we need to be respectful of that and connect to where we came from the earth touch the earth and when you do so you can visualize anything that's bothering you stress anxiety worry visualize releasing that into the earth that is a wonderful way to give back to the earth for free and the earth will receive it with gratitude and love and turn it into something good and this completes the cycle that is required for our existence. Give and take. Give back and receive more. The more you give, the more you receive. So a lot of times when I'm stressed or worried, I'll touch the earth with my hands and feet and visualize giving all that negative energy that I've accumulated into the earth. And honestly, it sounds, it sounds weird. It sounds dumb for those of you who haven't tried it. Try it. Try it with an open mind and open heart and not without judgment try it and then tell me how it works for you let me know it might take some practice before you start to believe it and trust but you gotta you gotta believe a little bit in this life because it's mysterious what are you gonna do live your whole life and just do whatever society tells you to do third way to give back to the earth easy peasy completely free is make a compost pile all your organic stuff, if you're throwing that away in the garbage, you're wasting precious nutrients that the earth 
would absolutely adore you to give it to. So I have my own compost pile, even though they collect organic waste here and they do composting. When I realize how easy it is to make a compost pile, I'm like, why am I giving away all my great nutrients for free? I'm just going to put it in my backyard. And in the past, I would just throw it out when it gets full, like, oh, I don't really want to do this. It's icky. But now, when the compost is ready to be emptied, I go out with intention to make it a little activity. Easy takes, takes like one minute. Go out with the intention of giving back to the earth. And when I throw it on the earth, I intentionally give this back to the earth. Thank you, earth, for what you've given me. Please take this back and return and receive it. And the earth will turn it into something great. Compost, nutrients. We need that to grow our plants and vegetables and fruit. We need those nutrients. So those are three ways to give back to the earth. A fourth way, although free, is to pick up trash when you see it on the ground. Pick up garbage, trash, in the Burning Man culture. I haven't been to Burning Man, but the culture really resonates with me, and I know i got to get there at some point. Matter out of place. Don't leave trash behind. Don't be a fucking asshole and leave trash on the ground. Pick up your trash. Throw it away. Make things more beautiful than when you showed up. Leave it more beautiful than when you arrived. Pick up your trash. Don't litter. I'm, one thing where I live that pisses me the fuck off, because look how beautiful it is here. But you know what pisses me off? How much people litter. You know how much trash is in this backyard? I got, I bought this house. I'm the third owner. There's so much fucking weird trash in here. I can't even deal with it all. Like, I don't even know what the fuck are they putting it over here. It's so weird. But the main areas where I walk, I can keep that clean. But, like, it really makes me upset how much garbage is back here. And everywhere around here. So I'll go and pick it up trash. And I've been meaning to post on the Facebook group one of these days. Take a picture of the trash and be like... Hey, whoever left this here, by blah, 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 I pick it up for you. But is it even worth it? I don't know. I pick up my trash. So those are four ways. What ways do you like to give back to the earth? Let me know in your comments, in the comments. Thank you for sticking at the end if you did. And I know my videos can be a little bit long, but I always have something to say. And uh, I enjoy doing this. So I hope you got something out of it. Thank you, and please continue to treat the earth with love and respect and yourselves with love and respect because we come from the earth. We are nature. We need to love ourselves and love where we came from. And if you try this, your life is going to start to make a huge turnaround for the better. Bye from my beautiful backyard to yours. We're here for the vibes, and it's just about following the vibes. So if you like it, consider subscribing. I'll be here. We come from this beautiful mother nature, earth. This is where we come from. We gotta take care of it.